Make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. JavaScript drag and drop file upload. Hey friends, today in this video you'll learn how to create a drag and drop or browse file upload using HTML CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. Drag and drop file upload means you can upload the file by drag and drop. Drag and drop interfaces enable web applications to drag and drop files on a web page. In this video, I have shown how you can upload the file by drag and drop or by clicking on the browse file button. In this program, on the web page, there is a drop area container with some text, icon, and browse file button. When you drag any image file over the drag area, the border of the container also changed to solid, and the text, drag and drop to upload file also changed to release to upload file. When you release your image file in the drag area, immediately the preview of that image will appear and file will be uploaded. Let's check the Uploads folder to show you it's uploaded. You can also upload an image by clicking on the Browse File button. When you click on the button, there is open a file window and you have to select one image file, after you selected it then it will appear in the drag area and file will be uploaded. Let's check the Uploads folder to show you it's uploaded. And as you can see our file is uploaded successfully. Let me show you one more thing that our program is completely responsive. So now you understand how it works. Now let's see how I build this. I can understand if you're too beginner in this field then definitely you have difficulty understanding codes but don't worry I have provided source files of this tutorial and you can easily download from the video deception. After downloading the source files of this drag and drop file upload program, just analyze codes and try changing some lines of codes to understand how it works. So this is the program folder to create this program first, you need to create four files, HTML file, CSS file, JavaScript file and PHP file. And also one folder named uploads. Our first file is index.html. Inside this file we have the basic HTML5 structure, we have imported our style.css file we also linked font awesome library. And at the end of the code we linked our script.js. Inside the body is our program structure, we have a div with class of drag area this is where we drag and drop our file. We also have icon, the drag and drop text, a button in the file input which is hidden. Our drag area have an event of on drop which runs this function upload file with an event. We also use on drag over and set it to return false. Our second file is style.css for styling our program. First we imported the Google font library. We applied some basic design to our page. This is style for our drag and drop area, header, buttons, image and more. In this section of code we used at media max width to make our program mobile responsive, so inside it we changed the size of some elements and that's it. The other file is script.js which is too important. Inside this file first we selecting all required elements by using query selector and put them inside js variables. The file and file obj variables, these are global variable and we'll use them inside multiple functions. We used on click event handler for our button and it runs this arrow function which if the user click on the button then the input also clicked and it also runs this file browse function which select the file and make it ready to send to our PHP file. After that we have an event listener for our input change and it runs a function, this function gets user selected file. And, zero, this means if user select multiple files then we'll select only the first one. It also add a class of active to our drop area and runs show file function which is job is to show the dragged or selected image. In this section of code we have another event listener for if the user drag file over the drop area. It means when you get the file and place it on the page over the drag area this function is run. 
first it prevent the form default behavior, it also add an active class to our drop area and change the drag text to this. After that we have another event listener for if the user leave dragged file from drop area. It means when you get the file and place it on the page over the drag area and before drop it you leave the drop area it runs this function. Which first remove the active class from drop area and it also changed the text of drag text to this using text content. In this block of code we have an event listener for if user drop file on drop area. It means you get a file and dropped it on the drop area it runs this function. Which first it prevent the form default behavior, it gets the user selected file and once more, zero, this means if user select multiple files then will select only the first one, and it also runs show file function. In this block of code we have a function called show file, the job of this function is to show the image we just dragged on drop area. Inside this function first we gets the selected file type and put it inside this variable. We add some valid image extensions in array and put it inside this variable. Now by using if function, if user selected the file is an image file it runs this. First we create new file reader object, by using onload event handler on file reader we this this arrow function, which first we pass user file source in file URL variable, which means we get the image source as base64 as URL, and then we create an image tag and pass the user selected file source inside src attribute and later we add that created image tag inside drop area container. And that's how our image is going to display on the drop area after we dropped it. Read as data URL of our file on file reader runs those all. And if it doesn't happen or our file is not an image we use else and it first alert this message and remove the active class and also change the drag text to this. After that we have these three important functions. Upload file function which content a parameter of E. This functions runs from our HTML file on drop handler. It means once file is dropped it also runs this function which first prevent the form default behavior. It gets the user selected file and, zero, this means if user select multiple files then will select only the first one, it set it inside file obj variable, and runs js file upload function with file obj parameter. The file browse function. This function is used to browse the file or more clear if you not drag and drop the file just choose it by select file button this function is run. If we go at the top of the code you can see we used to run this function once we click the browse file button, let's jump back to our function. So this function select the file on change and runs this function which gets the file and puts it inside this variable and after that it runs js file upload function with file obj parameter. The js file upload function is the most important function in this code, inside the function first we check if our file ojb variable is set, if it's so we run this block of code. First we make a form data and append our file obj to it. Then we use ajax to send our file to the php file. We make xml http request and set it to xhttp variable and use xhttp.open and inside it we first set the method which is post and our php file name which is upload.php. So it means we send the file to our PHP file and the rest of the job will be done on upload.php file. After that we use xhttp.onload and this is equal to a function it means once the job is done what we should do. So first we check the status if it's okay we can run anything here. For test I just printed uploaded on console log but you can do whatever you want here. And else we alert the status. At the end we use http.send and inside it our form data this part of code runs that whole thing and send our file to the PHP file. So our JavaScript part is done now we are going to check our PHP file. This is our upload.php file inside this file first we used if is set to see if any file is coming or not, if it's coming we run this block of code. First we use an array of image types and put it inside this arr file types variable. After that we check if our coming file type is not an array of file types we echo false and return. 
If the coming file type existed on the array of file type we continue. We check if there is a folder called uploads on our directory or not if not we use mkdir to make one with the name of uploads. Here we make a random name for our file and put it inside this file name variable what we does it we use time plus our coming file name for our file name. Then we use this php function move uploaded file to upload our file. Inside it first we have our coming file with its tmp name and our file location with our file name. Once done we echo our file location and that's it. And that's how how file is uploaded to server. That's it my friends I hope you learned something in this tutorial if you have any question you can comment it below and I make sure to answer to any question of you guys. Thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon, have a great time goodbye.